Hello there. You are someone and I am someone else. And today we are going to be talking about the Fed of the United States, Federal Reserve dollar, or uh, what I'm talking about. <laughs> the dollar is the world's reserve currency. Okay. And they think the Fed believes that they can solve the employment crisis by printing a ton of money and lowering rates. Now, I'm here to tell the Fed something. You guys are incredibly stupid if you think that you can do that. Because the things that you're putting money into, the corporations that don't make a profit and they ask for a bailout, and the education that we're paying for, by the way, which, what, liberal arts degrees that don't make any money, they're not going to work. The, most 80% of degrees deferred in the United States don't produce anything of economic value. So the Fed is printing off money to our education system that doesn't encourage employment. It doesn't encourage job growth. And so that is the issue why employment, our employment crisis will never be solved. It will never be solved again. Um, and again, jobs are, in, the ideal of jobs are getting increasingly more outdated as more computers start to replace low wage worker workers and stuff like that um it, it's going to be it's going to take a long time though for that to happen so in the meantime whatever job you get try to get the highest paying job with the least amount of certifications as possible and this this put all that money in a this guys please listen to me put that money in considerably a tax free account Okay, and then if the government tries to take away your money, you tell them you told us it was tax free. You told us. You you lied to us. And so that's the issue. I, I need you guys to understand this. You need to be dependent away or you need to be independent from the government, not dependent. You know, don't rely on your health care to the from the government. Don't rely on anything from the government. I always tell you guys this, and you ne people just don't listen. They continue to get in this hole, and they think that the government can solve their issues. They think that socialism solved their issues. That's what got us in this mess in the first place. Socialism hasn't solved anything, in my opinion. It's only made the problem worse. There's a reason why schools get bailed out, because they're not profitable. They're, just, they're used by taxes from, land, from people who own homes. And guess what? Those people who own homes, they work for many years to own those homes, right? They're, I mean, I could be wrong. Maybe some of those people instantly bought a home, right? But the vast majority of people that own homes, 70% of people that live in a home, own them outright in the United States, right? In order to have a, pro, a good middle class, I think that we should encourage more land rights. But what's happening, in, especially in New Jersey and other states, especially in my state, they're actually encouraging, um, you know, they're, they're not encouraging wealth by land anymore. They're encouraging other things. But I understand that land should be more of a public good than anything. And it's interesting to see, like, land being sold and bought. and You know, but that's like, you know, if you can't buy land, then what are you doing? You know, what, what are you going to buy to buy, buy wealth, you know? And again, I mean, it's an inherently broken system, but it works. You know? anyway. I just hear to tell goodbye. I hear noises. I don't know who's making all those noises.